All right, well, we can do that. Ooh. She must be sacrificed. Put on us. has been coming. Woman is a damned collectivist. Here in Rapture, how could the council fail to see it? Worse, to hide her intent, she gulls these patients of hers into a religious frenzy. A new Kremlin will rise and swallow the council house before they realize they've been had. By the parasite. Never its guys. It is time, I think, to call Sinclair. What? So I. Okay. Sinclair and him are like buddies or working together or what the shit? I kind of get weird vibes from Sinclair. I don't really know who to trust at all. Where is this going? Oh, nice. Times may be unkind, A little sniper's but perch. Have to take our home. I raised my children there. Bastards. Where are you? Hmm? That's cool. I like these little hidden areas. Oh, whoa. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces, Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. Oh my god, I don't know who to believe. Parasite makes nothing for itself. Its only tools are taxes and tithes meant to trick you into offering <laughs> what it has not earned. In Rapture, we keep what is ours. Yeah, see, they had, it sounds like they had completely opposite views on the right way to lead this place. On the surface, the scientist invests the power of his mind in a single miraculous idea and naturally begins to rise above his fellows. But the parasites say no. That's so cool. Discovery must be regulated. It must be controlled. And finally, surrender. The parasites, I guess, he refers to as anybody or any government that is kind of uh, oppressing people's will to advance. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it. But I tend to look at things in an odd way, no pun intended. He to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. But the parasites say, no, your art must serve the cause. Your ideals endanger the people. That's crazy, like limiting people's arts and everything. Sander Cohen would be pissed. I do but eyes. They pierce my soul. Oh. Come here. Where'd your buddy go? Ran away. That punk. Stop ignoring me! <laughs> oh, I'm just leaning backwards here. Looks like... Do I need to go underneath? Oh, hi there. Oh, God. You know, one of the things that they did really well in the first one was uh, making that wrench feel like a really solid impact. And this drill kind of has that same effect. Like, it's just... gory right up in your face. Let's do more of these. We'll get some heavy rivets. Sure, why not? And there we go. I don't know if there's... Oops. Ah. Ah, it's okay. I don't know if there's um, any specific reason I should save money. I figure if I have the money, I may as well max out my first aid and my eve and then my ammo. I don't see any reason not to do that. It hasn't given me a reason to save my money yet.
lacking its own ingenuity. The parasite <laughs> fears the visionary. I don't know why that's so good. it cannot plagiarize, me. it seeks to censor. But it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate. Okay. So... Uh-oh. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town. On the surface, oh, what? your parents sought a private life, using their great talents to provide for you. They learned to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasite said, No. No. The child has a That's duty. That's crazy. He will go to war and die for the nation. So I, I don't know what that guy was going to say. He was going to say something about what's going to happen here with this little sister, but... Uh... Would it be radio messages? Oh, here we go, yeah. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Hmm, I wonder what he wants me to do. Sketch? Well, if you guys know me, which you do, then, uh, you know that... Well, let's hack this thing. Um, I will be rescuing these girls as much as I can. When I'm presented with the option to save or kill people, I will usually save them. Unless they've, like, totally dicked me around somehow. Oh, cool, a safe. How does this work? And blue, what would blue do? Oh, additional cash, I like that. That I can deal with. Oh wow. This is these environments are just wild. Oops. Oh, I'll take Eve, yep. Oh, I'm already full on hack darts. I don't have enough things to hack. Bringing a little sister to a van allows you to choose whether to rescue or harvest her. If you harvest her, you get maximum atom. She will not survive the process. Okay. So, same decisions we had to make before. Rescue or harvest. I am going to rescue? That's awesome. Well, our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability. But you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. Man, I don't know about this guy. He sketches me out a bit. <laughs> Bye. You're welcome. I guess. All right, now to get some incinerate and Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. A simple tete a tete to share our views. This son of a bitch. Hey, come back! Whoa, she took a really bizarre jump fall thing there. 
She must be OD'd on plasmids. There we go. I wonder if each weapon has like a different type of uh, melee damage. They each do different actions. The drill's probably the smartest thing to do it with. Because it even still looks like it drills. Now we set this off before. Oh, cool. Can I climb up there? Oh! What's gonna be up here, my dear? Uh oh. Dead person. With, uh, presumably their goodbye message. Two weeks at my last count. Two weeks since we were trapped in this rotten park. <sighs> I haven't been eating. The children need all the supplies we've got left. Need them more than I do. I don't know what's gonna happen. I can feel myself getting weaker. Huh? The children have noticed the condition I'm in, of course. What will happen once I'm gone? I'll be all alone. That's crazy. So she gave up all of her food and stuff for the little ones to survive, and then her last words are even, how are they going to make it? That's sad, man. I put sheets, a hot plate, was nice. mostly. Nice. Probably get out of that water. Just saying. Okay, well, okay. No, you're just gonna have a nap there? That's fine. I, uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo-legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has, and make them go away. And I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella, <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. <laughs> and he's got work for me, right? I ask what, and he flashes me these thousand-dollar Steinman teeth, saying this job will, quote, change history. <laughs> Steinman was the dentist uh, from the first one, I think. And uh, this is just giving me further reason not to trust this guy. Like, I just... I don't know. Okay, what do I want to upgrade here? I can do drill damage, fuel efficiency, <laughs> efficiency rivets. Uh, I think I'm going to go machine gun damage so I can use less machine gun bullets to get the job done. But the recoil's pretty bad. I'd probably waste more bullets firing all over the place. Let's do that. Change the recoil. So my spinning... You think I'm a one? Oh yeah, that is way better. It's like not even fair, kind of. Got another safe here. Nice. I guess I should search it, hey? <laughs> I still, I do kind of miss the, uh... I kind of miss the wrench. That's okay. I need to find little girls to protect. Where do I find little girls to protect? <laughs> Oh shit! That guy really nailed me there. Let's okay, let's hack this camera. There you go. Oh, he's got bots on him like instantly. Look how the bullets just go everywhere. Yeah, that guy was screwed from the start. He probably should have just left as soon as I showed up. These guys think they're tough. What's going on back here? Can I just bust this down? Oh, nice. Did 
Dr. Lamb. I, uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo-legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has, and make it go away. I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella. Oh, I didn't pick this one up. Not to. There we go. Third session today with this amazing limey shrink, Dr. Sophia Lamb. She said that all Ryan's horse shit about always looking out for number one is turning us little guys against each other. And what we need is unity, solidarity. Then, huh, she held up a mirror. Turns out, I wear my hair and mustache just like Ryan. <laughs> so today, I'm spreading the word about Lamb. And tonight, <laughs> I'm shaving my whole stupid head. I mean, the thing is, is that they both have good points, you know? These little mechanical heads are creepy. They both have really good points, it's just that they're both so extreme. If they would have worked together, it probably would actually would have been pretty well off. And by they, I mean Rapture and its inhabitants.